What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Just for Play. And we back, baby. So, today we're going to talk about Tory Lanez. We're talking about Megan Thee Stallion. We're talking about the baby. We're talking about Parts and Fontaine. What does he have to do with this? I do not know. But let's get to it. So, over the weekend, Tory Lanez was promoting, uh, well, matter of fact, let's rewind this. Let's go back all the way to the beginning. So, you guys remember a few months ago, Tory Lanez and the baby had a chart together and Tory wanted to release it. And it seemed like maybe it was made before the actual incident with Tory and Megan Thee Stallion. It's because we all know Megan Thee Stallion and the baby, they like, you know, work husband and wife. You know what I mean? Like they, they work together all the time. They got a good working relationship. Everybody jokes and says that they are a uh, work husband and work wife. You know, they support each other. They're always on each other's tape. So, yeah, they just have a good, um, they have a good relationship. And it, they make good music together. They make good money together. They do good business together. So, let's fast forward. A few months ago, Tory Lanez tries to clear track that him and the baby have. They already had shot the video that is ready to rock and roll. It hadn't been clear yet. Um, and we know that because Megan Thee Stallion just, uh, went on Twitter and basically spoke for the baby and said that, hey, this isn't getting cleared. It's old. It's not getting cleared. Uh, he tried it. You know, basically, I guess speaking for the baby against Tori, because everybody was like, why would your work husband be making music with Megan Thee Stallion? So she cleared it up. She specifically cleared it up and said it was old, right? So, fast forward, the song gets cleared. The song gets cleared. That's all we know. He drops the video. Um, the video is actually receiving a lot of love. Um, the song is receiving a lot of love. It was trending. And based off Megan Thee Stallion's actions, I don't think she likes that. I don't think that she really wants Tori to have any success. She's going out her way to make sure that Tory doesn't have any success in his career. So, there we go. Is that wrong? Is that right? I don't know. Do what you do. You know, uh, so let's fast forward to this weekend where the baby won. He retweeted and showed support for the song, said to support the song. To me, why not? I mean, if they using your likeness. The song got cleared. You want to make your money at this point. It's cleared. If it's cleared, you might as well go ahead and get your money off of it. That's just me, though. You know. So, the baby also... Now, this is where everything started. A retweet pops up on this page. And it said, I guess the baby and Tory Lane's cool now. Because both shot somebody... And don't have to do no jail time. And that's that Megan Thee Stallion off. Now, to, in uh, the baby's ref in his defense, he tried to say that basically that he didn't have nothing to do with the retweet. He don't know who retweeted it, how it got retweeted, it how it got retweeted, any of that. So I can I can see that just because we all done been. I'm an OG Twitter nigga. We didn't all been on Twitter before and you scroll and you might accidentally hit the retweet button or it could be other people that handle his promo on his page. We have to consider that, I mean, human error and just having other people on your Twitter, other people that run your social media can, can possibly have been at fault for that and not the baby. So for me, I actually believe the baby because I've never known the baby. We've never seen the baby to do a lot of wild, like, internet shit. Like, like clout chasing internet shit. You know, usually the baby, he's, he's usually on the defense for me. He doesn't get on the offense and just run around starting shit. That's just from my opinion. And uh, so he just said, I didn't, I didn't do that. Megan ain't having it. Megan's not having it. She says... On Twitter, support me in private and publicly do something different. These industry men are very strange. The situation ain't no damn beef. 
And I really want people to stop downplaying it like it's some internet shit for likes and retweets. So from there, he responds and he says, you didn't let these folks get the best of you, thug. I don't got no bad energy for you. You know I ain't no industry nigga. Don't let them fool you into thinking that. You tripping. Stand on what you stand on without feeling like I'm against you. Stay focused. And then she says, my stance hasn't changed at all. Yours has. We already spoke about it in private and you specifically said that ain't I ain't got no good business. Oh, that ain't no good business move. Why would I promote that shit? But now that ain't your beef. That ain't real. But you stay on your business, my G. So we're going to get to the last part before I state my opinion. The baby says, I don't even go back and forth with my own bitches on the net. Now I'm on this motherfucker going back and forth with another woman over some shit. Another nigga accused me. How the fuck that work? Y'all niggas hell. Happy Juneteenth, though. We started this bitch off with a bang. I love you, Meg. And Partisan says, comes in out of nowhere, which is Megan's boyfriend. And he's a rapper. And he's a writer, um, ghost writer. He says, you a clown ass nigga doing clown ass shit. Then try to backpedal, nigga. That's not what it is. You don't ever have to address her again. And the funny part is the baby responded that said, you must not know about me. You must not know about me. <laughs> so I look at it like this, man. I think that uh, the baby did make a great, uh, a, a mistake. I think he made a mistake. Uh, whoever did, his team, him, somebody did something. And uh, I can say that I've, I've, we've all accidentally retweeted something, accidentally liked something, accidentally maybe shared something. Whatever it is, it happens. It's human error. Um, I think that that's something they could have easily got on the phone about. And uh, maybe he could have let her know. I also think one thing Megan has to do, though, Megan has to learn to stop trying to obligate support. People going to fuck with you is people that's not going to fuck with you. There's people up in the air. Nobody's claiming, nobody's giving no explanation to the situation yet. Nobody's giving no details. So you're leaving people, both of y'all are leaving people out in the gray when it comes to this. So... You can't obligate people to pick up to pick a side. Now, my thing is, if he's really your friend, like you think he is, then you would have heard him out. He like if he would have called you, y'all or y'all, you called him or y'all somehow talked about it and said, "Hey, look, it's not really what it looks like. It's this, that, and the third. Now, maybe you are mad that he promoted it, but at the same time, for me, just in my opinion. Why not promote it if it's already been cleared by somebody else? You know your label. You don't know who clears this music. These rappers don't own their music, so if they don't want if they don't want something to come out, the label don't have to listen to them. And we just gotta take that into consideration. And Megan Thee Stallion knows that she's in the rap game. I'm sure the label has done things that she hasn't wanted to do. Um, as far as Partisan Fontaine, I mean, I get it, bro. That's your girl. I get it. I get it. I also think though that's weird, man, because you know, like. They already had a working relationship prior to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as that, like, why do you have smoke with him? He didn't, like, is it really that deep, like, for you to jump in? That's my thing. He didn't disrespect her. He really was trying to show love to her. So why why get in there and add fuel to the fire, man? If you got energy for anybody, man, take that to Tory. <laughs> That's just me. Um, let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Let me know how y'all feel. Was Tory wrong uh, for still trying to get it cleared? Um, is is the baby wrong for trying to retweet it? And, you know, does, is he backpedaling? What do y'all think happened with him? Partisan, is he wrong? Meg, is she doing too much? Y'all let me know, man. Uh, once again, appreciate the love. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, that's it, man. Hey, man. Follow the Faction Cat podcast page on YouTube. 